What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making the perfect Father's Day gift for the dad that has everything. As always guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. We're putting out a ton of videos and we got some huge projects coming up you guys don't want to miss. All right guys, so today we are using the Super Dad template. This is the template of the month for June and it turned out super nice. But the star of the show is the new font we have, which is Squares Bold. If you guys remember, I did the sign for Jack Carr. This is the font that we used. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right here. We're gonna have from one inch all the way up to six inch. And I will leave a link in the description below for all of this stuff, including our bits and the base plate. Let's get to carving. For a two line layout, you wanna use the speed square and then just line up both of your lines to make sure you have even space on top and bottom. Make your marks and connect them with a yardstick. That will give you the lines for all of your layout letters. Then use your tape measure and make sure you have even space from left to right. That's the main thing guys, is having even spacing left to right, top to bottom, and also in between your layout letters. Now you can see as dad's doing the layout that a couple of the letters moved. We let this can get too hot, so dad actually went and got another can that was in the fridge. When the cans are too hot, then the spray comes out a lot faster. We started off with a carving liner at an eighth of an inch deep. Now the carving liner is the best bit we've ever used for fine detail but you can only go an eighth of an inch deep at a time. Now for this, that's all we needed, but sometimes if you need to go a little deeper with it, just take it one pass at a time at no more than an eighth of an inch deep. Then we switch to the profile bit at 3 16 of an inch deep. Now this is what we use for pretty much everything else. The black inside the template has some sharp corners, so you'll notice that dad feathers the corners out and then drops nice and slow in to get that nice sharp line. Now normally, for inset letters, Dad uses the 60 degree bit, but you can see for this font, there's some sharp points. There's not much rounding at all in these things, so that makes these a little bit harder. Dad decided to use the profile bit, that way he can get the sharp points and the sharp lines without having too much of a rounded look. One question we get asked quite a bit is what font to start carving if you're a beginner. This is not that font. If you're just starting, check out our fatty font. It's a lot more forgiving and it has a more rounded look to it. This font is quite a bit more challenging, but it gives a completely unique look.
The next bit we used is the 90 degree bit at a quarter of an inch deep. Now when you have a template like this, you don't really just want a thin line on the outside. It really makes it stand out when you give a good bold line and it also gives it a lot more depth as well. Then dad used the disc sander to round the corners and give it a good clean look. For the chamfer, we used our 45 degree bit and dad gave it a nice deep chamfer. You can see that this board was a little bit grainy, so dad went around a second time just to make sure it was as smooth as possible. Yes, my dad wears tube socks, boots, and shorts. Then we use the 60 grit disc on our disc sander to get off most of the black. Once that was done, we went back with 120 grit on the random orbital to get off the rest. All right, guys, it's all done. I really like this new font, and again, it's called Squares Bold. This material, by the way, is some of that shiplap blue pine. I really like the way this stuff cuts, and this particular board had a bunch of bird's eye knots, which I really liked. Hope this was helpful. Hope you like what we're doing. I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that we used. If you have any questions, email me eric at makerwoodsign.com or if you have questions for ryan it's ryan at makerwoodsign.com thanks again for watching guys we love you we'll see you on the next one bye, -bye.